Hey folks, welcome back to our beautiful Soviet Republic. Uh, let's take a look. Last time we set up the coal exploitation. Set up our little heating plant right here. Made the tubing for that heat exchanger. So we have some uh, heating available. And now I don't really mind if these houses don't have anything. Because they, they don't actually need... Uh, I guess they do need... Do they need power? Apparently they don't even need power. So you see, it's like all falling into place and perfectly. Uh, but we still have a lot of roads to upgrade around here. I think one of the problem is we just don't have enough vehicles to manage all of that and uh, get the excavator on the ground moving to lay down the gravel all over the place. So our first course of action will be to build a new construction central where is that construction office i will set it right next door is that a good idea maybe yeah i could i could be a little bit wilder and uh set it off somewhere different like right around here would that be good i ain't thinking at the same time I think that will be fine. So let's put it down there. It seems like the road didn't build though. Why did you not build the road? Hmm. All right, let's demolish that and place down a new one where we will be able to have the uh, road in the right location. Like that, we will get a road. So that road will be built. Uh, this little stuff here is still not set up. I'm not sure if I really want to go down that route of, uh, well, this is being built, but I mean, I don't know if I want to go down the route of building all of that just to drop the coal here. It will be advantageous because we will be able to put down a, a power station around here and uh, use the coal or maybe even a, a oil power station if we have, we do have plenty of oil. So that will also be a possibility. But I was thinking more about, you know, looking back at the resources we have. We have some iron around here. So we could put uh, down a little mine, bury all that stuff up north, and uh, set up a steel mill or something along these lines right here. So we can. Uh... Another advantage will be that we already have electricity right there. So it will be a very easy job to get that plug and going. Oh, will almost be full already. That will be a good motivation toward going toward building a steel mill. Let's see, where can we put that iron mine? The maximum seems like 56 is peak iron mining that we can do. Oh, 57. 57 like that. Mm. We could put an iron mine right there. Now, this will need an iron processing piece. Thing like that. How far off can I put it? Looks decent enough. Steel mill will need both inputs. They're away. Both of them here. Hmm. Alright. I think one thing I need to do though is to remove, because right here. Connection is an angle, which is not good. I should have paid attention to that when I did it, but, uh, you know, I did it. So. Deal with the uh, auto construct that. I think it's the only one that was uh, in plan mode, so that should be the only one that's built. And now let's go with four. Metallurgy and steel mill. And good. Now we can, can have some 
better range. Thing like that. Let me... Oops. Need to level the ground here. Let me use my little excavator free. We put that like that. And I need to be careful. We're gonna, I need some room to breathe here with my road. Which is an issue I, I have every single time I try to lay down a steel mill. So you don't think about a road here and you put a conveyor right in it. Not the best choice. So we got a nice, beautiful connection like that. Uh, now we will need some sort of conveyor engine to be able to take it from here. Maybe we can uh, you know, get another storage right here. Could I... Oh. Can't do it, huh? From the storage directly to uh, the station would have been beautiful, but it seems like we will not be able to do it. But we can do something like that. That's one connection. And okay, I'm in plan mode. I was scared for a moment that I was uh, on auto buy. <laughs> That would have been one expensive auto buy. We need big electricity coming in. Where's the who's this? I think going to Suravala is definitely the fastest option we have. Let me try cheese it as much as we can. Alright, big connection coming down like that. Ooh, that will be expensive, huh? 40 grand. Well, I mean 23,000 in rubles. But you know what I mean? I just build it. <laughs> no second thought at all. Alright, let's see. So right here we will need some workers. Let's go and check with the road situation. Definitely need some road access here. This, for this. I would need, yeah would ideally need to be the order side, I think. Because the... Uh, that means this one is the wrong side then, but... Let me... Let me check that. Finish that. Finish that. Move that parcel of road. Now let's go and put down a brand new iron mine. Oh, right here, right? Ten percent. Why is it not uh building a conveyor bell? That's weird. Why too far? Oh it seems fine. Very expensive, huh? 60,000 of uh, material that will be needed to, to build that very expensive uh, little setup we have. All right, so we need, uh, let's see, let's see footpaths. Right, we have a footpath here. Definitely need some footpaths access. Probably bus station around here. Go and get that. stop
some more asphalt roads. Ooh, doesn't go underneath that. Correct it a bit. Go through something like that. All right, we got a couple of little intersection to build. We can build it like that. Lay down our little gravel paths. Little gravel path just like that. Does that look good? That looks like a nice setup, huh? Let's see if our brand new construction can reach it. Oh yeah, I think it will have just enough range. I don't know if they will reach the entirety, but it'll be good enough, right? Let's see, we will let time fly now. We will at least have the entirety of the road built. Just waiting for the construction office to be online and able to reach it. Yeah, very good. We're now getting late October. Like we have no issue with the heating yet. And temperatures five degrees Celsius, so we would start getting issues if uh, we were in that kind of situation where we would not have sufficient heating. More footpaths. Wow, that road was built very fast. I'm impressed. We got the, the roller going on on its own. Interesting. I think we need these footpaths going way faster. Ooh, the price of iron ore is going down. Okay. Good if we want to set up big construction just for it, huh? Good thing we're going to melt it down into steel. Construction is very far away. It will be very expensive to construct that. Wow. Impress. A lot of work days to make a uh, asphalt. Alright, this is going to be full any time now. Hmm. Pouring out as much fuel as we can, so let's just uh, switch and uh, add a new route to another truck. Just go to your new location. But we'll try and export more bitumen as we have uh, a good amount in stock. If they will need more workers going to that oil refinery, seems like a point of contention right now for us. Footpaths seem to have built up real nice, real quick. Still have a couple of spots left that needs to be done, but I think it does a decent job out to now. This and happiness is too low. Eh, too bad. 
part and parcel of living in a socialist utopia. Add in more asphalt. Because we sure can. I think that building, that school has no other access right now. Good, eh? Let's pay up for that. <laughs> so they at least have access to school now. A bare minimum usability for the school. It's driving over the footpath. Here to see. Thinking if I if I would put a asphalt road here here that would save me a lot of time. Try to get to this location from the bus station. They would pull out. Turn on this road, go down, drive on the new asphalt path, and go all the way down the zigzag. Maybe put down another asphalt shortcut like that, just so it drives faster. Actually, I could, I could try to do that. But let me uh, cancel that. Let me build a straight road or other first structures in a way got a road That just be a crazy expensive thing I'm doing right now. I think the answer is yes, huh? Just be a stupid, crazy expensive little pipe dream. Something like that to build up. We we would save marginal amount of time, but we will be able to put down that gravel road after. I don't know, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's a good plan. Let's just go with uh what we have. This guy's just uh driving around coal. Higher job. This guy's just waiting to unload coal. Alright. So we won't have any coal supply issue, I feel like for the whole winter hopefully but uh you never know okay so i didn't have a concrete truck up to now but now i do i do have a concrete truck assigned now so yeah he's on his way uh, that means almost everything will be fine we'll just need the steel afterward Yeah, snow is not excellent, uh, you know, if you want to drive fast, it doesn't work. Oh, these people won't have time to reach. Damn it. At least with a brand new pavement row there. Let's see, they all got off, they all jumped off because he didn't have time to reach the location. But it's alright, I don't have any coal stock issue yet, so... Doesn't worry me too much. What are you up to? Dropping some asphalt. Alright. Is 
definitely need uh, one of these maintenance building technical services not auto purchase resources please why didn't it work <laughs> that was weird Oh, that was one expensive building. All right, let me see. Purchase some, a uh, couple of snow blah. And clear the road, please. So we'll just wait for them to do their little business. Not much else we can do. Definitely need more workers here. But in the meantime, I mean, we can upgrade that piece of road here. Even though it has absolutely no value or bearing on the game. Feels good upgrading roads, you know. Do I have people waiting here? I do have people waiting. So I could come and uh, get myself a brand new boss. Little 52 people, right? And uh, add you right here and right here. We launch that. We'll get actually two buses that will be able to pull the job we're looking for. Why did the so weird? me fund that road just so they don't don't get stuck right there come on snow blows clean me that road that's very good they're going down that road that's very good that was like one point of contention tough not being able to uh, make it in time I think he's rushing for that little asphalt there. <laughs> we'll let him do. That little station is uh, getting almost ready. We'll upgrade that parcel of road. That parcel of road. It doesn't really matter for the stone quarries because they are just not able to go faster than 25 which is the maximum speed on mud roads but if anything else needs to drive down that road I'll be going faster faster all right nice selling out of fuel very nice very expensive in imports definitely losing money especially considering i already have a couple loans that does not help at all road is being built just waiting for asphalt oh, a tiny amount of asphalt that's all they need why are you not you're producing asphalt. Okay, you just need a truck to dump it, I guess. Maybe we're exporting too much bitumen too. 
we have double amount of uh, workers that should be flowing into the oil refinery. So maybe that will help us out. I'm not sure though. We'll see in due time, I guess. Oh, a lot of foil here, huh? Consumption is not too bad. I feel like we can keep up. Oh, there's some traffic here for the asphalt. They're running out of bitumen, almost running out of bitumen. They are running out of gravel, though. Do we get a gravel truck coming soon? Otherwise, they'll just rotate back and forth non-stop. Where's my gravel truck? I think this is uh, someone working for distribution center, so they're dropping off gravel at the asphalt plant. All right. At least that is under control. Parcel is done. Work in progress. That will be maybe completed. No. And almost nothing on him. No. Hmm. Or a visitor to that church. They should be praying to that. Soviet concrete symbol if they were if I was the true ruler that's what they will be praying for right As soon as they something runs out, either the gravel or the uh, bitumen, they just leave. So they don't have full load. So they they do all the traveling for nothing. Uh, no mechanism. Missing asphalt. Do you have asphalt? You do, but not enough. I, th I think you're missing the paver. I think that's the contention going on right now. Well, it, it is uh, snowing non-stop in this world. Eh? You can see the snowplow is almost unable. Fully unable to uh, keep up with the snow. It just fills back behind them. That bus has no worker left. Just a waste of time. I guess I have absolutely no coal production during the winter. Just because of the, the slow speed at which they move. Oh well. Right, well, it's almost 1961 already. I think we can try and see, maybe I'm um, looking at the dollar amount, it's not going up very much, huh? Let's see if we can maybe get something near the uh, NATO borders. I see a lot of uh, bauxite deposits. And this one seems to be very easily exploitable. We got a uh, border crossing right here. We could try to uh, make a little bauxite mine just to or printing a bit of money on the American side. Let's see, that will be under Metallurgy, Bauxite Mine. 
gear, good amount, man. Very good amounts. And what I like about bauxite mines is they, they are a bit like the quarry stones. They don't need workers to be available. Or is it yellow? Eighty nine percent, very good. Ninety eight percent, excellent. Eighty eight percent, very nice too. Right now I need to get them into aggregate storage. something like that flatten it a bit Lead it just so Do some aggregates right made very expensive stuff we're building but We will get a truck aggregate like that. A road. Go down a mud road because we'll get those big trucks that can't go very fast. Little car depot right here. Now we will need some electricity though. Get about that. Good electricity. Medium poles. Oh, do I have? Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that would definitely be a problem. Right, where do I have electricity? electricity but you know cost me a fortune we not so bad after all connected like that now they should have power but we will purchase some fuel it will be auto purchase because I, I'm not getting anything to come and refuel it back here Get some truck running. Where's will be these big fat ones? You will come here, wait until fully loaded, and go drop everything until fully unloaded. We will copy that schedule to the other truck and we will start that. We'll start the second one. So we'll have at least two trucks doing that little bauxite run. I, I did put in a lot of investment, you know, to uh, get that thing going. So maybe I should have just built one for now. But, you know, I got some uh, little bauxite mining exploitation for NATO. So they can make some aluminium and stuff. And, uh, you know what? I think that's perfect. Just took a picture of that. We'll be... Perfect 
screensaver or will will it be will it not be maybe so Ooh. yeah something like that oh yeah that's the kind of business we love looks pretty let's hope our trucks will be making a fair bit amount of cash I believe they will be very fine making a lot of uh, raw bauxite every day good that's a good exploitation all right let's go back and see our main city what's happening here uh road construction are going well this guy's not doing anything for some reasons a worker waiting for gravel waiting for gravel here almost sad drop off the roller here Off some more asphalt. Seems like so. Just very slow to lay down the asphalt when you only have workers working. <laughs> so beautiful, uh, beautiful work we're doing. How about that uh, gas factory? No workers. Is it because they, uh, yeah like they they stuck in a weird loop huh eh? they're stuck right be behind each other there's a lot of passengers but uh that'd be enough to keep up uh with all the industrialization i'm doing up now i think it should be of people loitering around all right but here's a beautiful winter soviet republic hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and if you did make sure to drop a like and uh, stick around for more thanks for watching and see you next time